Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, I've been running around gathering some resources because I want to head back over to the quartz uh, nodes and start setting up some production over there. We're not going to get everything like completely up and running, completely finished. I reckon, probably not today. Um, but I'd like to try and start getting things established and maybe try and bring some power over. Um, but to, in order to get back over there, I thought we'd travel over in style. I finally built the Explorer, and good god does this thing bomb about. I really like it. It just, it just fucking goes. I'm gonna tr chase down the, uh, the truck and overtake the bugger. <laughs> god, this thing could break a hundred. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, boy, let's go. Beep, beep, you absolute unit. Coming through. Stop hogging the road. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I really like this little thing. But I've loaded up its um, cargo with some uh, concrete so we can get some foundations laid down. Oh, yeah. Wait till we hit the slope. Wait till we hit the slope. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, come on, frame rate. Stay with me. I need you right now. Oh, yeah, boy. Power slide. Oh, <laughs> this is great. I like this thing. Uh, fuck bugs. Oh, oh, God. I do not need to be getting stopped around here. Not right now. Thank you. Uh -huh. Whee! Oh god, right, okay. Uh, got stuck on stuff. Yeah, we'll just uh, drive in and park up. Leave ourselves here. Right. So we've got a basic idea for where we want to start building things. Uh, I'm going to grab the concrete out of the back of the car. Uh, I'm going to switch out the encased industrial beams, I think, because we need to start off by laying a ton of foundation. So, we may as well get started with that. I just realised this is all going to be on the wrong level. This needs to come up a bit, doesn't it? I'm going to be building it out from here instead. Gives us that little extra bit of height. You know, when you're when you're a short ass like me, a little bit of extra height is always nice. Okay, I think this is a good platform to start with. So we need forty of these constructors in total. Like that absolute maximum count because of overclocking these machines. I'm, again, that's not taking into consideration moving on to Mark III miners. But we've got to start with what we've got. Um, uh, the, getting up to the Mark III miners is just going to be daunting, I reckon. Uh, but let's get rid of you. And we'll start putting down some constructors around about here, I think. So I think this should be a good starting spot. So we've got 10 here. We'll make another floor of 10 up above it. And then we could maybe do the same somewhere over this side for the other miner. Sounds all right. I think I'm good with that idea. That works for me. So I'm going to stick some mergers in. Just start getting basic infrastructure in place. I'd like to say we'll have some at least refining of the, court, the raw quartz. Uh, once we're all done here, so quartz crystal, these produce 15 per minute, so yeah, Mark 1 belts coming out of the constructors is going to be no problem, so that'll end up being 150 per column, so I need a minimum of Mark 3 belt on this, but I'll probably stick a Mark 4 in just for the sake of it, because I don't know if like, once Mark III miners come into play with this, if I'll just expand the production, 
or if I'll start trying to overclock these machines to compensate for the increase in materials. We'll have to see how that plays out. But for now, I think this will do nicely. And they need... They need 30 a minute. So that's not bad. We can probably play around with some belts to make sure they're all equally, equally fed. I think I need to grab some more concrete. I hope there's more in the car. Because I'm already running out. Yeah, there's more. Good. There's always more concrete. Because we always need more concrete. Right, and this will be the second floor. So I need to... Right, constructors are going to be starting here. And this will be floor two. Another ten constructors. Let's get the mergers and belts in place for the outputs. Then we can start looking at all of the, the underbelly stuff. I've also got to figure out where all of the uh, outputs are going to end up. At the moment, it's probably just going to end up being storage containers. Because... I... I might have to think on that, actually. I need to see what... Um, other stuff is needed for producing the crystal oscillator. It was reinforced plate and cable, wasn't it? So if I could find those no you know, nodes for copper and iron, we could maybe have a completely self-contained thing over here. I don't know. Oh, there was a crash pod around here, wasn't there? I'm going to go and check that out before I forget about it. Hello, limestone. What kind of node are you? Pure! Ooh. Yeah, of course. Bugs. I may want to equip the uh, Xenobasher for this. Or maybe not. Rifle ain't half bad for picking these buggers off. Like actual buggers. <laughs> nice. Right, some case industrial beams, some cable, some reinforced plate. A bit of wire. Not a bad haul. Okay. What do you need? 53 megawatts of power. Well, when I bring power over from the the main network to get the, the quartz online, that's not going to be a problem. What I need to figure out now is how I want to get... distribute all of the, the, the resources. Is yeah, currently 240 per minute. That's going to be, what was it, eight machines? So I don't even know if it's worth, like, setting up an entire column just yet. So what I'll do... We'll, we'll set up the inputs on the back, but... I might do a different do a different thing with um, connecting everything. So we might do, like, a, a belt coming in to split between these two, a belt coming in to split between these two on both sides, and then just a splitter to feed these two one, last ones at the end. Because as materials cycle through, we'd be able to feed these two with a Mark 1 belt, these two with a Mark 1 belt, so on and so forth. And then when it gets down to the last bit of this, we could have a Mark 1 belt that splits to these two, and that would end up um, evenly distributing everything. So yeah, that's a much better way of doing things. I like that. Right, let me get the uh, holes down the back for this side as well, and then we'll start putting in all the lifts and the splitters and everything. Right, so... Underbelly is just about done here. Uh, this is just for the bottom floor. So we'll have, you know, belt coming in from the miner. Uh, it will split so it can go up at some point. I'll have to figure out where that's going to go. Uh, but then it will feed in here. Split off into Mark 1 belts, so it'll even proper, like, perfectly feed 
the two constructors that were above it there. Carry on down this way, do the same again. This bit is not connected, uh, but then there'll be a Mark I belt coming down here to take the last 60 ore, or the last 60 raw quartz, to this one, which will then split it into 30, and then perfectly feed the two machines on the end. So no worrying about, like, one machine getting overfed uh, compared to all the others. Oh, that's a much better way of doing things. I don't know why it took me this, this long to figure that out. Um, right, now I need to figure out where this split is going to happen. Truck a splitter in here. Hopefully I can connect the lift to that. I can. You'll come up here and connect like that. I want to say. And if I put you there, we can put Mark Four Bell. Oh, it's got an invalid shape. Damn. Bring that forward a touch. Then it will connect. Excellent. Need to upgrade that, but I need some encased industrial beams. Let's go and raid the car for supplies. And that will feed in there. Okay, I'm gonna get some power infrastructure in place. I'm gonna put a container on the end just to collect all of the outputs. Uh, refined crystals. Even though this will most likely be a temporary uh, storage thing. Because obviously once we get the rest of all of this connected, you know, and everything's all set up, we're most likely just going to be offloading everything into a train. Send it all off to some other location. But power, you are required. Power to the miners. Connect you up there. I'll disconnect the miner that's not actually hooked up to anything yet. Um, but I think... It's time to head back out into, uh, oh. Yeah, sure, reload, why not? It's going to be necessary. <laughs> I'm going to drag some more um, foundations over this way for a moment. I'm a bit concerned I might not get the rest of the constructors I need in over this way. Hmm. Could be a problem. I may need to rethink how I'm building things here. But I mean, we'll worry about that at some other point. I just want to get a power connection over to Coal One so that we can get this online. So, away we go. Yeah, and who cares if the power lines are going through the cliffs? <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? And, why it's too long? Damn it. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? But okay, there we go. That will get power connected. Let's uh, chuck the Blade Runners on so we can get back a bit quicker. And see this system in action. Yeah, boy. Nice to finally have quartz refinement online. That's not bad. Production's alright so far. Yeah, all these machines should be perfectly fed. They all seem to be. So it'll get to a point where they'll start backing up. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I think this looks rather nice. I do kind of want to do the radar technology milestone. So I'm thinking I might hold out until I can get... Uh, let me figure out how many um, boxes of quartz crystal I need. That's going to be 500. Which at this rate, you know, we might actually be able to get in a decent amount of time, so... I might just sit around and wait for a bit, because I want to get the radar towers built. They're going to be a nice addition to everything. There we go. Didn't take long at all. Might as well pull, tear that down. So I don't know if I've got enough materials here to be able to make the 50 oscillators, but we'll head back to the hub, because we're going to need to send off the payload anyway. Uh, I've got to see if the Explorer is going to be able to get me out of here now. 
Are we going to be able to do that? Come on, little buddy. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> it got a bit squashed. We'll go out the other way. Such springy legs on this thing. I say legs, you know what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Bounces all over the place like a little motherfucker. Way! Fuck. Frames come back. What happened? Right, there we go. Oh, power slides are just ridiculous. Right, I've got to be, I've got to be on the lookout for the truck because I don't want to crash into the bastard. Right, okay, there he is. Right, beep beep. <laughs> right, let's go this way. Let's just like throw ourselves off the cliff. See how the, see how the explorer handles it. Oh, it was basically just another slope. But eh, never mind. It's all good. Plow my way through these bushes. And in no time at all, we're home. I like you. You're good. <laughs> right, I'm going to dump the beacons in. Uh, heavy modular frames. We are slowly getting through the supply of them. So we're going to need to be wary of how many we've got left. I'm not going to be able to make all of these. What am I going to be lacking? Is it going to be the cable? Yes, it is. Okay. Good to know. Let me go and get more. And crystal oscillators. In we go. Let me just go and grab some motors, and we are done. Oh! Okay, that, that's new. <laughs> radar technology unlocked. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. Indeed. Okay, so... I think that comes under organization. Radar towers, there we go. So... We're gonna need more crystal oscillators and more beacons. But it also uses heavy modular frames. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be going around building them all over the place at the moment. Uh, I really need to get this iron build finished. I think that's something I'll do off camera because it's going to be relatively time consuming and not particularly interesting. I am glad that we got the um, quartz processing up and running though. That has been very good. Um, what am I going to do from here? I've still got like 15 minutes. I do want to see what the power's like at the moment. Minimal. We're not really using much of anything. It's probably because so many productions are currently offline, or I say offline, but shut down because they, they can't really output to anywhere. The uh, modular frames are probably completely backed up at this point. We should maybe go and have a look at them, see how they're doing. I imagine the system's all backed up at this point because it's been a while since. Uh, Everything going to shut down. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to be driving around in this thing and having the trains just driving around everywhere as well. Oh yeah, that is one backed up belt up there. Very nice. I wonder if everything is completely backed up over this way. I do need to finish uh, like kind of sprucing the place up as well because I started um, encasing a lot of stuff over here in walls. Like this section over here is is pretty much done, and it's looking all right. It's just kind of awkward when like I have to do these bits with the wall uh, walkways. I mean, obviously, one thing I could do would be just to bring it out an extra foundation. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I could do that, but the place is looking good. Oh, I got stuck. But I think once um, we've got the capacity to build uh, radar towers, I'll be sticking a roof on top of all of this, and uh, yeah, we'll stick a radar tower on top of it once we get like things looking good. 
Yeah, I do need to sort out this bit of the floor. So this is all wrong. But in order to satisfy my neurotic build nature, I'm going to have to build the floor out on everything else as well. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's how I do, how I do things. Uh, let's go grab some concrete. Maybe we can faff around with this for a bit. So I want to figure out how high up I need to build in order to put a roof over these machines. Maybe something like this. Oh, it's going to need more, isn't it? Uh, no, actually. But the lights are going to be obstructed, so maybe we'll put another four meter one up. Mm, go up one higher. This is going to be the top floor. Deserves a good high ceiling. So we'll be doing something like that. Oh, not like that. Get hard. And then we'll have walls going up like that. And it'll look rather nice. It'll be great once it's all finished. That's all I'll say. Especially once we get the rest of the infrastructure in place as well. I mean, considering that I'm now going along with the idea of... Um, you know, kind of more... Specific, or more individualized outposts, like with iron plate going on down there. This may change, but I think I might just I might just stick with this. I don't feel the need to tear it down. Um, but this can complement everything that we've got going on elsewhere, because there are so many other, like, resource deposits. You know, there's no need to go about tearing this one down. It's a nice little self-contained thing, and I quite like that. Uh, don't fucking go down there. I don't know, I'm also thinking of having like these little jump pads on like the top corners of all of these um, little factories so that we can like have essentially like a fast travel system. <laughs> we can have jump pads to bring us up to the roof and then if we need to go if off in a certain direction, say if I need to go over to the copper processing over there, uh, I could just have a jump pad to fucking launch myself all the way over there. I think that could be fun. Oh. Oh. I hear it. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me see if I can land on you. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Watch your head. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Traveling in style. Oh, I like it. Oh, you know what? I think, uh... I think with this... I might wrap the episode up here. I'm not going back there for a little while. Nice to see the world from your perspective, though. So you've you've been watching me like build all of this shit up from the ground, haven't you? It does look cool from up here, we'll say. So you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go for a little little manta ray ride or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this video up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Are we the prey, or we are the hunters? See the butt crack when they're wearing this, the the gown, the hospital gowns. Oh, Mr. Maverick, cover your shame.